Welcome, everyone. My name is Ryan. This is KD, Alan, and Tom. What we love most about the internet is that it's full of people. There are literally hundreds of millions of people online at any given point in time. And despite that fact, though, the internet can feel like a pretty lonely place. That's why we created Same Page. Same Page is a Chrome extension where users can chat with other users on the same page. A great use case for this would be for uh, developers specifically. A lot of times we're learning a new library or framework, and we need to consult the documentation. But it might be vague or difficult to understand, so we might want to talk with some developers that are on the same uh, documentation page as we are. So right now I'm on the React docs, and I want to know um, why a class name instead of class in, uh, in JSX. Does anybody know the answer to that? Hoping to get some help. Looks like Spencer and Alexis are, oh, yep, Spencer. It's a reserved word in JavaScript, so you really can't use it. Excellent. Cool. Let's check out another site. Can anyone suggest a Wikipedia page we can all browse to? Red pandas. Red pandas. OK, great. Very exotic. Exotic. Let's see. Who's talking about red pandas right now? Why are they red? I don't think anybody knows the answer to that. They just are what they are. Oh, Spencer Wasim, about to say something. Oh, Spencer likes mini pigs. So sometimes it's fun chatting with random strangers on the internet, but other times you want to talk with a particular group of people, such as perhaps full stack alum. That's why we created this concept of circles. As you can see, Ryan is part of four separate circles. There is the full stack circle, the, and then one circle for each of the teams you've seen present today. One for Team Drawsome, Team Notion, and one for Team Hatch. And uh, you can seamlessly switch between circles and the full page just by clicking the icons on the top. And that will switch you between the messages uh, of all of the users on that circle. Check it out, Ryan. Looks like you have an unread message in the full stack circle. Cool. To be clear, uh, you don't need to recreate your circles. Uh, every time you move to another page. When you navigate away, uh, they'll be there waiting for you. Circles, with circles, uh, a teacher can follow to see whether the, the students are following along uh, when exploring educational web pages. Or you can check to see if any of your friends or family are reading the same article as you. Uh, also, since uh, messages and circles persist to the database, uh, that means that you'll not miss or lose any messages, because uh, even if you uh, are disconnected from the internet, uh, so when you go back to that page, they'll be there waiting for you. To keep users, the database, and the server in sync, we use a combination of WebSockets, HTTP requests, and Chrome runtime messages. This ensures that users only receive messages pertaining to their particular circles or groups. Another interesting fact about our app is that it's injecting content directly onto the web page. This chat box is actually the last node of this Wikipedia article's document body. This actually presented us with an interesting problem in that the styles from the uh, page that we were on were bleeding into the styles in our application. We would adopt some of their font styling. Our text alignment would be off. So we had to use the shadow DOM to isolate our uh, application from the styles on the rest of the page. Our extension actually uses three separate front end applications. There is one React application for the login and logout pop-up there, and another React application for the chat box and all the content. There is also a Redux store running in the background. Uh, this Redux store can even handle cases where a user has many tabs open and each is on a different website. We had a lot of fun uh, coding up all the intricacies of this uh, program and trying to optimize it uh, to ensure smooth uh, user experience. Uh, and now that we're all on the same page, uh, I think all that's left to say is thank you for coming, and uh, thank you for listening.